What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin with Custom Night Vision. Do you want to see what happens when a mildly autistic man uses sheetrock screws to attach $20,000 worth of lasers to a cheap piece of pine? Keep on watching this video. Have you ever tried to zero eight, seven lasers uh, on the same shitty piece of pine to a target about 100 yards away? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today, we are going to do another laser comparison. Um, I got my hands on just about everything I think is relevant at this time. Um, got a MAL C1 Plus, the 3 EIR designate IRV, a full power and a civilian powered RAID XE. This is a full power PEC 15, an NGAL, and the most D ball of the D balls, the D2. And for a bonus, we've got uh, that guy over there, the Raptor S. Um, literally brought that thing out here just to get a range on the targets and stuff in the foreground um but we'll go ahead and include it in the video Oh shit. All right, we almost, oh, here we go. We almost forgot. Um, yeah, the night vision footage you're uh, watching or you saw, I don't know where we're gonna put this in the video. Uh, that was a Elbit PVS-14, it's like 2,900 FOM, so super high spec, clean tube. And the moon is like, it's gone right now. It's- uh, if Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine, we're all fine here now, thank you. How are you? We are in my neighborhood, but I live kind of in the woods, so you can see some uh, lights on people's houses back here, but for the most part, it's very dark. Just trust me, it's very dark. It's so dark out here, okay? It's the darkest you've ever seen it. All right, before we break out all these lasers and start this shootout, we're gonna range some of the stuff that's gonna be in frame so you can get an idea of exactly what is what you're looking at and what these lasers are capable of at various distances. So the first thing I want to range is the um, our target stand. It's basically a big tablecloth draped over two target stands. And that is at 108 meters. And then I'm going to lay the tree line directly behind it. To flip my night vision down real quick so I can get a good look at it. Um, okay, let's range that tree line. Ranging, we're at 268 meters. So the tree line directly behind the target stand is gonna be 268, 270 meters. In the target stand, we have most of these lasers uh, zeroed on is right at 110. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the, the dispersion of the different illuminators, the intensity of the actual aiming lasers, uh, it's really good to use that as a frame of reference so you understand what these things are going to look like if you were to buy one and then mount it on your gun at home. We got all these lasers set up. Uh, took forever to zero them, quote unquote, roughly zero them on our target stand out there. I'm going to go from right to left and try to knock this out as quick as possible. The first laser on the bench here is... Uh, <laughs> everybody's favorite laser, the Mall C1 Plus. It is in the, its highest power mode um, for IR laser and the IR illuminator is focused down as tight as it gets and that's it. That's as, that's as close as I could get it to that uh, target stand. It's not the laser's fault, it's my fault for not building a better test bench. So that's the first one. The next one on the bench is the 3EIR Designate IRV. That's a mouthful. Uh, this is a very impressive product and I'm gonna show you why. So, Mall, Designate IRV. 
So just, just take that in for a second. This is the laser that everybody says is the best civilian powered laser that you can buy. And then there's this one. So that's pretty cool. Um, the Designate IRV does not have a focusable illuminator, just like the mall. It's one of the downsides, but it is lightweight. Uh, it's sleek. It's very simple. I guess the only knock on it I really have is the little control knob is pretty mushy. But uh, other than that, the, the fire button is very nice. Arasaka makes it. Positive click. It's, it's really good. The next laser on the bench is a RAID XE, the full power variant. This is an incredible laser. Very bright, very crisp, clean. The aiming laser is powerful and um, it's just really all around a good, good laser. I'm going to quickly run through the um, illuminator's dispersion range. That's all the way closed down. That's all the way open. Right next to it, I'm going to go to the next laser, is the RAID XE civilian powered. Um, this is a pretty interesting comparison. There's the civilian power. Double click that on. I'm going to go through the, the range of the illuminator that's all the way closed, that's all the way open. Close it down and compare it side by side with the full power. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, wow, that's not a huge difference. And man, that civilian power laser is pretty amazing. That's them side by side, full power, civilian power, full power, civilian power, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. I don't, have you seen Wayne's World? <laughs> Nobody's gonna get this joke. All right, the next laser on the bench is the uh, full power PEC-15. Um, I included these because uh, this one because everybody knows somebody that has one of these. I'm going to tighten the illuminator all the way down. It gets real small. Uh, these are actually pretty useful uh, in like a clip-on application because that illuminator gets so small. It works pretty well at, uh, illuminating targets, you know, at extended ranges, and it gets pretty big when you crank it all the way out. I'm going to move the diffuser out of the way. It does look like a Petri dish or a kaleidoscope or something, so that's, you know, something to be aware of. But every, you know, PEC, be it full power or civilian power, kind of has the same pattern there. The laser, the aiming laser is good. The user interface on the full power or, or at PLC is very good. Um, if you can't figure out how to use a PEC-15, you don't need to be using a laser. So... The next laser on the bench is the Ingall. This one is full power. Obviously, they don't make a civilian power Ingall yet. I'm um, going to quickly run through the illuminator dispersion. Again, I tried to get it as close to our uh, target stand over there, but this is as close as I could get it. That's all the way focused on the illuminator. This is all the way open. Um, the laser obviously looks very good. It's very powerful. The controls on the Ingall are exactly the same as the PEC, so if you've used PEC-15s or out PLCs before, it's very easy to transition to the Ingall. It does not do anywhere near as many things as the, the Wilcox variants with the RAID XE, uh, but if you just need a solid run-and-gun laser with a visible laser, a la um, infrared laser, infrared illuminator, yeah, it's really hard to go wrong with an Ingall. You know, assuming you can get a full power laser, you know where to buy one. The last laser on the bench is the D ball D2 because it is the most D ball of the D balls, in my opinion. So I've got the illuminator focused all the way in uh, tight. Let's see if I can open that up for you what that looks like. This is a pretty impressive laser for the money. Um, I don't know what we're selling them for right now, but we used to sell these things for like $1,200 or $1,300. Uh, they might be like $1,500 now. They're getting a little bit harder to get. But one thing to note with the D-Ball D2, like we've said in previous videos, it has a LED-based illuminator. So it is a civilian class unit, 
but the laser or the illuminator itself is very powerful because it's not laser based. It, it is literally an LED flashlight built into this um, laser with a, you know, an LED style uh, bezel and everything. Furthermore, it is not, you cannot adjust, you cannot zero the LED illuminator. It is just, it is wherever it is. Typically, um, your aiming laser is going to be somewhere closer to the middle of that illuminator, but because I hastily built this test bench, um, my Picatinny sections are not exactly 90 degrees, apparently, with the rest of the test bench. So we're getting some uh, dispersion here on which way our laser is going. But at any rate, um, I'll run back through them real quick. That's the D2. Uh, this is the in gall, in, out, this is the full power PEC-15, sorry I had the diffuser flip down, full power PEC-15, open that up a little bit, it's a civilian RAID XE, Probably one of the, I don't know, it's hard to say. This is all very subjective, personal opinion. Full power RAID XE. This one's very, very hard to beat, honestly. The designate IRV by 3 EIR. And the MOL C1 Plus. Cut it. I almost forgot, we got a bonus laser in the lineup. Uh, I used this to range the targets. I didn't want to take it off the rifle and unzero it. So at any rate, <clears throat> I didn't even think about it till just now, but um, this is a Wilcox Raptor S and I've got it on just high power laser, high power illuminator. And we're gonna quickly run through the beam divergence on the illuminator and see how crazy that is. It opens up pretty wide, but look how tight it gets. And that's wild. We'll just point it at the sky. It does so much uh, range finding, ballistic calculations, hook it up to your Kestrel, give it, feed it all the environmental data. You give it <clears throat> like all your guns, information, muzzle velocity, bullet weight, and when you range a target, you know, as long as you're feeding it good environmental data, it's going to tell you exactly what to dial or exactly what to hold. And if you have a solid weapon system, you're going to be on target. I've been using this a little bit for a while and I like it a lot. I mean, it's wildly expensive, but it's one of those products that just like increases capability by a substantial margin. I don't have a whole lot to say about these things. I really think that these lasers do all the talking for themselves, but I hope it's raised some awareness on what is fact and what is fiction when you're in these discords, on Reddit, on whatever other social media that you um, go hang out on. At any rate, if you have any questions about any of these lasers, you can contact us. All of our information is on our website uh, or you know, DM us on any of our social medias. Get down in the comments and let us know how your favorite laser stacks up against the rest of them. Uh, we really like it when you fight and argue. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe these videos. We really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Damn, I'm sucking dick. All right, let me try it again. <laughs>